Hey guys, so today we're going to be going over painting RV walls. Uh, we're in uh, the kids bunk room uh, in our open range fifth wheel right now and we're going to be doing their half bath today. Uh, just a small project just to give you guys an idea of what it takes. It's not a whole lot different uh, than painting standard walls uh, other than there's more coats of paint required and uh, a lot more caulking than than you would ever do <laughs> normally um, but everything else is the same the taping the the prep work all that so these are the walls um, they're kind of textured walls I call them hospital walls because it's kind of got that woven like uh, kind of texture to it they're in all RVs and they're all, they've all got these busy patterns on them and the busy patterns what they do is they break up uh, the seams that are right here because when you paint these all one uniform color you will see every crack all along this uh, this trim work uh, this stuff does a really good job of camouflaging that so what we're gonna do is we're going to uh, fill in all along there with uh, silicone uh, sealant and that'll close it up and make it look really nice but before we do any of that we are going to sand. Normally I would fill in all these uh, holes. I took out the, the vanity because um, it really sucks when you've painted really nicely and then you open up the vanity and these walls are still back there. So took all that out. We're gonna paint it really nicely. Normally I would fill these in, uh, but I'm not going to do that because I need to know exactly where to place the vanity back. Um, so I'm going to leave them open that I'll, and then I'll see the holes and I can put them right back in because there are uh, exhaust vent pipes behind these walls and if you drill into one of those you're going to end up with a wall full of poo water and that could be really, really bad. Okay, let's get to sanding. If you don't have one of these, uh, it's an oscillating sander uh, with a, a corner attachment to it so you can get into tight spots. It will save you so much time. I did the living room area. Uh, I did the corner and detail sanding by hand. That probably added on an extra four hours to the project. This makes really short work of it. This is a cordless Ryobi. All my cordless tools are Ryobi. I really like that whole system. Okay, so let's get to sanding. Uh, if you want nice finish to your RV walls, there's no getting around this. I am using 180 grit just to uh, kind of take off the sheen so that the primer can stick well. It is a pain in the butt, but it is well worth it if you want nice results. It's the only way to get nice results. Any oscillating random orbit sander will do. This is a Black & Decker I'm borrowing from a friend. Let's get to work. So that's it for uh, the sanding, like it is not a lot. I'm not trying to take this veneer off, I'm just trying to take the sheen off, scratch it up just a little bit to let the primer adhere. There's barely any pressure, I'm maybe doing one or two passes um, just to get the surface roughed up, that's all. Alright, this corner sander. I'll show you how awesome it is. Instead of having to go through here with a little piece of sandpaper by hand, take this, gets right up to the edge, right into the corner. So worth it. I mean, that would have taken I don't know, four or five minutes of hand sanding. So awesome. Now, if you're wondering why paint versus just put up wallpaper, specifically the peel and stick stuff that's so popular with our veers, you can totally do that. And we've done it before. Um, <clears throat> it looks 
uh, incredible for, I call it like the Instagram or like Pinterest effect, where like not everyone's looking at the like corners and nooks and crannies and imperfections. Um, we've got some of it up right now in, in like select places. Uh, it, it looks cool from afar uh, when you're actually in it and you have to look at it every day. In my opinion, it just looks like shit. And there's no way to get around that with that wallpaper. Good from far, but far from good. Yeah. So, uh, I think painting is by far the best way to make your RV look a lot nicer. Uh, and from your perspective, when you have to look at it every single day. So, in hoping for the best and planning for the worst, of course, uh, the that oscillating sander, this guy, as awesome as it is, is not going to work on this this trim. It, it's just kind of tearing it up. So I'm gonna have to hand sand that, of course. Um, all this trim, it's not stuff you would typically buy at Home Depot or Lowe's. This is like wallpaper veneer wrapped wood. Uh, so if you get too aggressive with the sanding, it just tears off the paper and you will definitely see that uh, when you paint over it. So I'm gonna have to lightly scuff it up by hand. Uh, it's probably gonna add on an extra half hour to this project, but if you're gonna do it, why not do it right? Oh, also when you're doing this, especially in such a closed, confined space, uh, be sure to wear a, a mask. Um, <clears throat> Home Depot and Lowe's near here were sold out because of this BS coronavirus stuff. Um, so I'm not wearing it today. I do have an exhaust fan trying to do it with, but I'm still breathing in a lot of this dust. All right, so now that we're done with sanding, uh, next comes everyone's favorite part, cleaning. So we gotta wipe down the walls because there's all this dust everywhere. Uh, w last time I tried TSP, uh, the direction said to use warm water. It got to be kind of a pain because the water kept cooling down. Uh, also, I think it's kind of, uh, toxic. So what we use instead now is uh, Young Living's Thieves Cleaner, their household cleaner. We use it for toilets, countertops, bathrooms, everything. Um, it's awesome stuff. Two capfuls to eight ounces of water for like heavy degreasing cleaning. Um, here's our little spray bottle that we use and let's get to work. Look at all that dirt running down. Look at what would happen if you just painted over that. Oh man. Okay, so the walls have been wiped down. Uh, they're still kind of damp though while they're drying. It's gonna be a good opportunity to go up on the roof and make sure we know where the vent stacks are so that we can kind of generally avoid them because uh, the whole reason for doing this uh, bathroom right now is because we needed to hang up a closet bar in here. We need to hang up our Dyson. We needed to hang up some hangers for the brooms and mops because we're going to use this kind of like a half bath slash utility room. So before I go drilling into walls, I want to make sure that I'm not hitting vent stacks uh, because like I said, if you drill into one of those, you will end up with poo water in your walls. Um, and it's gonna, it's gonna, your wall's gonna fill up before you see any signs of it. Um, so it could be a disaster. We're going to use that uh, square vent as a guide. Um, this is an exterior wall, that's the vent. So if I see a stack on, let's see, that side, I know it's forward of the vent, backward of the vent. Uh, to the driver's side of the RV of the vent. So let's go take a look and see where the bathroom vent is. The easiest way to do this is just get up on the roof and take a look. Let's see if I can do this with one hand. <laughs> so there is the uh, bathroom vent that I showed you from the inside. Right there, there. Or there, I'm not sure which one. One of those is the uh, vent stack for the toilet. So we know that it's, that's the front of the RV. We know that it's somewhere in the wall uh, on the driver's side of the RV. So if I drill into this back wall, which is somewhere here, I'll be fine. Or should be fine. 
All right, so we've located the vent stacks, which are somewhere in this wall. So we're going to put all of our things on this wall or the exterior wall. Um, the walls are nice, clean, and dry now. So it is time to uh, do some caulking. So for caulking, you will need uh, painter's tape and I prefer a quick dry paintable, that's important, a paintable caulking. I'm not gonna go over taping off stuff too much. You're an adult, you can figure that out. I believe in you. But uh, for the purpose of caulking to make it look nice, I'm gonna teach you how to do that. So obviously I'm gonna go all the way down, but uh, with these pieces of scrap tape, I'm gonna show you. I like to leave about an eighth of an inch uh, on one side of the crack and then an eighth of an inch on the other side. Um, it's kind of tricky to get it uh, straight all the way down. What is that? Probably eight feet. But if you take your time, you can get it right. And then what you'll do is you'll squeeze the caulking out. Doesn't matter if there's overflow because what's going to happen is it's going to squeeze out onto the tape. And then before it dries, you just peel the tape off and you get a nice clean professional looking line. So these are kind of the really tedious parts of the painting project. A lot of people are just like, God, I want to get to the painting. Um, you will be so glad you took the time to do this stuff. As with anything, take the time to do it right, right? It's taking everything in me to just to make sure I do this right, because um, I, I really want to get to the painting. Because um, I don't feel like doing this project today. It's a really nice day out and I'd rather be kayaking, but let's just get it done. So now we're going to take our quick dry, uh, fast dry acrylic latex caulk plus silicone. The important part is that you can paint in 20 minutes, so you're not waiting uh, 24 hours to paint again because we're all impatient, right? So just squeeze and put a nice bead in there. It doesn't matter how messy it is. You can do this with a caulk gun or just with one of these toothpaste type tubes and just bring it down. I'm trying to do this with uh, one hand and it's really difficult. Put the cap back, back on so it doesn't dry. You do not need a really thick bead of it because as you squeeze down, um, there's gonna be a lot of extra so, I'll show you. So that's gonna give you a really nice concave uh, shape to your caulking there. It's gonna kinda cram it into any voids there might be. Sorry if it's out of focus. All right, so give that a once over, make sure all the, uh, the voids, nooks, crannies, whatever you wanna call them are filled in and that it's one continuous smooth line. Uh, if that is the case, sorry about all the dust. Uh, if that is the case, it's time to take the tape off before it dries. Uh, so you'll get a nice, crisp, clean line. Who doesn't like clean lines? Look at that, nice, clean, professional looking lines. There will be no gap when you paint over that and that's gonna be a beautiful thing. I cannot be the only one that obsesses about this kind of thing. Anyway, I mean, you've gotta look at it every day so you decide if it's worth the time. So, I've got this boom uh, microphone on here and as I'm, <laughs> as I'm following the camera down this bead of Silicone, I got a bunch of silicone in the windsock. Ugh. Oh man, the perfectionist in me is like a pig in shit right now. Okay, so the uh, caulking is dry. It's been over 20 minutes, so it is ready for paint. Um, today I am using a chip 
or cut-in brush, a four inch foam roller. I'm not sure what nap it is or anything like that, but I like to use the four inch one because there's lots of like tight spaces in an RV and this will get it all. And it's not that much longer than a 12 inch roller. Also the paint that I've been using, uh, the primer actually is this Zinzer 123 primer. It has worked really well. And the final coat has been this Valspar Ultra. We are using Divine Cream. So it's not white, a little bit off-white, looks really good, I like it. And it's had excellent coverage on these walls, you'll see. Let's paint. I like to paint with the roller before I cut in. That way I'm covering as little as possible um, with the brush, because that's a very time-consuming project but your last coat you need to cut in first and then roll last uh, so that you don't have uh, streaks. Okay, so I intentionally uh, did not caulk this side of the trim, only this side. Uh, so that you could see the difference, um, and I'll do it before I uh, do the next coat of primer, but that is just a clean line of paint. That side um, has lots of gaps, and then sometimes the paint will, uh, will fill in the gap there a little bit, and you'll see the lines, and then, oh, there's another gap, and then, oh, it seals up right there. So it just looks really crummy. Um, not a fan of it at all. That is why we silicone all, all the gaps. Okay, first coat of primer, second coat of primer. So this stuff has really, really good coverage. Um, I do not wait the, what is it, two hours they want you to do between coats. Uh, just never have. I've never noticed any ill effects, as long as it's uh, not, not tacky to the touch, um, I just go for it. We have our first coat of the final paint on there, uh, so we're going to do one more coat of that, hopefully. I think that should cover everything. Everything covered really well except for, there's a spot right there, I don't know if the camera can see it, but uh, other than that, it co covered really well. So my wife just got back from the store and she told me that she doesn't want to put the vanity back in. So all those holes that I said I was gonna leave unfilled because I needed to put the vanity exactly right back where it was, um, now I have to fill them in. Okay, painting is done. The final coat has been applied, patched up all the holes. Uh, so now it's time to take the tape off and see what kind of work we did. Okay, so all the tape is off. Uh, all the lines look pretty clean. Yeah, I mean, looks great, all right? So there's the finished product. Uh, it looks really good. It just looks good. Uh, but that's because we took the time to do all the right prep work um, and we did it the right way, and they made the results look amazing. Hey, Chris, come take a look. The uh, the, the bathroom's done. Ooh, it looks so much bigger. It looks so much bigger when it's lighter. I like it a lot, but we're not putting the big vanity thing up, right? No, we're gonna get some really cool open modern shelving, an updated mirror. We're gonna do an accent wall in here of some like cool wallpaper. And then, yeah, I, this is awesome. Thank you, Nate. I love it. You're the best. All right, Ella, come take a look at your bathroom. <gasps> wow. You like it? Awesome.